In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a common problem that we deal with when using triple glazed windows. I'm Casey Gray, the founder of The Conscious Builder, and on this channel, we help you build and live more consciously. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out the links in the description below. This problem most recently came up on another Net Zero Energy Ready Home that we have recently started construction on. Now, obviously this problem is not something that I'm gonna say don't use triple glazed windows because of this problem, but it is something that needs to be considered as you're going through the design process and ultimately planning your Net Zero home, passive home, high performance home, whatever type of home that you are building. So there are a lot of benefits of triple glazed windows and I've done other videos on that so I won't get into all of them but I'll touch on a couple here. Really in our climate here where we are in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada is really around comfort in the winter and then the condensation issues as well. A lot of double glazed windows will have condensation on them in the winter months because the humidity level is really up to where it should be to have a healthy indoor air quality, but the window can't support that kind of temperature difference on the glass, so condensation is created. When you have a triple glazed window, the cold outside doesn't necessarily reach the inside the same way it does on a double glazed window, so you can have a higher humidity level within a home and not have that condensation issue. The other huge benefit is in the winter is if you are sitting by one of these windows, you won't feel a draft. And that draft is really created by a convection current that is not common in a properly built triple glazed window. So where the, this problem comes in with triple glazed windows is really around the weight of it. So if you think about a double glazed window, say a double glazed window weighs 200 pounds, but you were to add another pane of glass to it, now it's going to be 300 pounds because we're adding a third layer. So that weight, although doesn't really affect the fixed pieces of glass, it does affect the installation, having to lift that piece of glass into place, but where it really gets, where it affects the design is with the operating windows. So casement windows, which are common here, where you have the crank on the bottom and it opens the window out, can only handle so much weight. So if you go to triple glazed, you're gonna be limited on the size of an operator that you can have. Now that is why tilt and turns become a lot more common in the triple glazed worlds. Or one of the reasons anyways, is because you can have a larger pane of glass that opens because the hardware is a lot more robust. So. Casements though is something that a lot of our clients go with. It's more cost effective because it is easier to make. It is more common in our area as well. And I actually like casements in our area because if you have a deep windowsill, like on a passive house, it doesn't avoid or it doesn't block anything on that large windowsill. You can actually use it for something. Whereas if you have a tilt and turn, you're not gonna be able to put anything in that window if you plan on opening it all the time or opening it often. So where this comes in to be a problem is if you want a big piece of glass, if you want a big window that opens and it changes the look of your home, right? This is a design factor. And if you can't have that big piece of glass that opens and you need to make it smaller, or the top needs to come down or needs to get narrow, it changes the design, right? So a lot of people don't like this, the look of the smaller window. So those are things that you will have to work closely with, with your contractor, with your window manufacturer, and with your designer to make sure that whatever is being designed is actually going to work for the windows that you're using. Now, obviously, a lot of things are possible uh, if the budget is unlimited, uh, but you're going to be changing the style of window potentially. You're going to be going to a manufacturer uh, that is more expensive or maybe overseas, whatever it may be. Anything's possible, but these are things that you need to take into account when doing your home because windows are a big ticket item for projects. So this is a big conversation on all of the projects that we do and there's a lot of back and forth. So that is another reason why an integrated design process is so important when doing these high performance homes. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate you. If you're looking to support the channel and you want to show your love, one way that you can do that is by ordering some apparel from theconsciousbuilder.com slash shop. Uh, or if you're looking to build Passive House, you can also head to the Passive House plan section, which is the consciousbuilder.com slash PDS plans. Uh, links are all in the description as usual. There's other links there. There's all sorts of resources that we have. And until next time, I'm Casey Gray. Remember to live consciously.